Welcome to Scripture Verse by Verse. My name is Michael Moret. We're in a book of Psalms as we go through the Bible for the fifth time in the last 37 plus years. We're in Psalm 89, verse 26. So get your Bible, follow along with me if you can. The Scripture Verse by Verse website is found at the Bible versebyverse.com. There you can choose from the four previous series going through the Bible and this fifth one, New Testament is completed. Go there, thebibleversebyverse.com. Bring your Bible, hung, <coughs> excuse me, hunger for God's word. As always, that's all you need. Choose, click, and listen. Study any part of the word, the whole word, at your pace, at your convenience, again, at the thebibleversebyverse.com. Father, sanctify us by your truth. Your word is truth. In Jesus' name, amen. Psalm eighty nine twenty six. He shall cry unto me, Thou art my Father, my God, and the rock of my salvation. It's good to remember that God is God and worthy, therefore, of our reverence. It's also good to remember that as a Christian, he is our Father. He's more than just God. He is. Respect him like you respect God, like you should. But he's your Father who still, even as your father, deserves respect, as your heavenly father, infinite respect. But there's something different between just being your God and being your father God. Um, you have children, you know what that's like. You care about your children. You'd rather have something bad happen to you than to your children which no doubt is why God became a man, died on the cross to pay for our sins, because he'd rather go through hell on earth on the cross in order to save people from hell, at least some, and to become those people's father. So remember, he's your God when you pray. He's also your father. 27. Also, I will make him my firstborn, higher than the kings of the earth. Now, Jesus is who is in view here. Jesus is called the firstborn. But that doesn't mean he was the first one to be created because he's not a created being. Oh, his humanity was created, yes. But he is the eternal son of the eternal father. Jesus became a man in time, but he was never not the son of God. The Trinity, the Father, Son, the Holy Ghost, go back into infinity past. They never had a beginning. They just always were. The Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. The Son became a man, but his deity did not change. And Jesus is called the firstborn, though, which means that he is the firstborn in position <clears throat> because the firstborn, back in Bible days, had that title, even if he wasn't necessarily the firstborn in that family. If he was designated the firstborn, that meant he was in charge of the family and provided for the needs of the family when the father was not there. He stepped in. So in that sense, Jesus is the firstborn. And Jesus is in charge. And he provides all that we need for life and godliness. 28. <clears throat> My mercy will I keep for him forevermore, and my covenant shall stand fast with him. This is what we this is what we enjoy as well, which is God's mercy. 